Uh, it's a very serious issue. I believe that we are already for sure in a Cold War and we'll have a decoupling between US and China, trade in goods, in services, in the movement of labor, of capital, investments, but more importantly right now, everything this uh, important is having to do with technology, data, and information that is from a national security point of view, severe and important. So the decoupling is occurring. The Cold War between US and China in terms of overall political and geopolitical relations is becoming worse. And the reason why Xi Jinping right now is seeking a third term and possibly a fourth is not because he wants to pass to history as the man who reformed China, it's because he wants to pass to history as the man that united mainland with Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So I believe the next five to 10 years is gonna be the time where there's gonna be a confrontation between US and China on the issue of Taiwan. And that could be a trigger of this Cold War becoming a hot war. We don't know whether it's gonna happen, how it's gonna be resolved, but that's where we get to World War III, among other things. But in some sense, World War III has already started. Mm -hmm. It started in Ukraine because this conflict has broader implications that are going well beyond Russia and Ukraine. It's the beginning of something else. You didn't mention climate change, so I'm assuming you're not worried about that. <laughs> well, there's a full chapter about an uninhabitable planet, about climate change. And it's a long discussion, but the reality is there's a lot of talk about doing something about climate change. There's a lot of talk about ESG investment, environmental, social, and governance, and so on. But the reality is a lot of it is greenwashing. Mm. A lot of it is green wishing. A lot of it is green fig leaves of people who say we're going to do something. Governments, firms, individuals, they're doing nothing. Glasgow and COP was a total failure. At the current level, we're headed towards an increase of temperature by the end of this century of three degrees. Even two will be a disaster. Three means that half of the world will be in places that are either underwater or too hot to live. And if you worry about a few hundred thousand migrants from Central America moving here, wait until there be not a few hundred thousand, but millions or billions of people who have to move from places that you cannot live to other parts of the world. That's gonna be an economic and financial disaster.